everybody, this is Rose and we're doing a cook along together tonight and tonight the recipe is going to be a fish pie. So um, while I'm waiting for everybody to join, I'm just going to go through the ingredients very slowly. Um, so of course we have the protagonist, the fish, then we've got the vegetables, whatever is going to be going in the pie. The, the peas, the cream, and I hope that you got some cooking cream because I have to confess that I tried this recipe with normal cream and what happens when normal cream is really um, heated up and um, it, it tends to separate a little bit. So my first attempt was not so successful, but then I discovered the Bula cooking cream and it works like a charm. So we've got parmesan cheese, the butter, the oil, and um, a heaped tablespoon of flour, and the egg afterwards to brush on the pastry. So I'm um, waiting for everybody to join. This is the measuring jug that you'll be, that one of you or a few of you will be um, Winning at the end of the recipe, I'll just ask a question and the five correct answers will be taken at random and you'll be winning this lovely Magi Mix cooking jug. So pay attention to what I'm going to say. It's not going to be difficult. I think we can start and I'm going to be starting with the food processor. And what I'll do is I'll chop my vegetables in the food processor first. So in there, I'm using the main bowl and I've put the two millimeter blade. The two millimeters. And I'm going to be chopping my vegetables with that blade. So two millimeter blade. So engaging the machine. What I'd like to do is put my carrots in first. So um, I'll be cutting the carrot in two. It's nice for the carrots to be to fit snugly in the shoot because what happens then you'll get some very regular um, little little rounds. So everything comes out very even this way. I'll do the same with the celery. To what I'm doing. So we'll just put all the celery in and in fact I might cut one in two so that it's nice and snug over there. That's it. And what I'll do with my onion, I'll put it through as well but I'm just going to quarter it very quickly um, so that I get smaller pieces in the vegetables. with the onion and salt. Wood. So I'm just going to reserve that for later and we're going to start with the cooking process. Okay. So I know that in the recipe I uh, suggested that you guys melt the oil and the butter together and uh, but really it is not necessary so I'm just going to put them both together oh, let's put that here in there that's butter and it was, it was about two tablespoons of oil just a little bit of oil what size slicing blade two millimeter two millimeter slicing blade for the food processor you're talking about Una, is that what you're talking about yes 
So what I do, instead of doing a separately melting the butter and the oil first, I'm just going to do everything together. So I'll take my vegetables and put them in the bowl. Actually, I'm going to be using the food processor spatula because as you can see, because of its shape, it goes into every corner and cleans the bowl beautifully. Okay, so there we are. So now lid on. Oops, yeah. Lid on and cap off. That needs to be in there. Okay. So I'll just be on expert mode and I'm just going to put the temperature up to um, let's highlight the temperature first and we're going to cook that at 110 degrees 10 degrees i'm going to bring the blade down to 2a yeah 2a so one less and we're going to be doing that for about two minutes so two minutes Yeah, head off. And I don't know if you can see inside the bowl. It's just going to be just stir frying, cooking the vegetables, so just softening them up. So while this is happening, I'd like to tell you about the promotion that we still um, have on until the 4th of July. Don't forget that if you purchase one of these, a cook expert, You'll be getting three bonuses, uh, the bow hook, which is like really an amazing attachment, and the dice kit, which allows you to make chips and just little um, chop your vegetables like in little cubes, and also two recipe books, which are here. It's the brand new Best Bakery book and the Just Soups book, which is perfect for this time of the year. I think I probably make a soup every day, a different soup, because it only takes half an hour on the cream soup program from beginning to end. So you're putting your vegetables in, you're cooking them, and you're blending them all in half an hour. And the beauty of that is that you can actually leave your house, you can go and do whatever you need to do around the house while this is cooking, and it keeps warm for two hours because of the double wall bowl. So those two books, which are amazing. And the other products also have bonuses. We do have a brand new um, website, magimix.com.au, um, where you can register your product, you can have a look at all the products, you can have, get the support that you need, also, you might need an attachment that you know, or, or you want to replace a part, so a spare part you can you can find on there. Um, I urge you to go and have a look at the website and see what's going on. The minute that you register your product, you'll be getting emails with our promotions and our events, which is great. So now that's done, and so what we'll do is we'll put in the flour. So here goes the flour and there I have like one tablespoon but it's actually a heaped tablespoon, a little bit more. So this is going to create what's called a roux in French, um, a roux in English. So I'm just going to be cooking that for two minutes on the same um, temperature but I'm just going to change the speed of the blade. And I'm going to go to three and I'm going to just add the minutes so two minutes for that this is very fast uh, two minutes yeah let's do it leave the pack off it's a, so you can see how fast things are happening this is the fish which are cubed in quite large cubes because I think that what's happening is that I'm not going to be cooking the fish in there. I'm going to be cooking it in the oven and if I cut it too small then it sort of disintegrates and you know you just don't have anything to eat. And by the way I made the exact same pie using chicken and it was absolutely delicious. So you can vary your your, your protein in there. You can do your tofu, you can do your chicken, you can do your prawns. It's such a versatile pie. Honestly, the easiest. So after this.
this, all we need to do is to add the stock and, and then the fish and then it's done. How quickly is that? Any questions? No questions yet. Has anyone got any questions? Where do you go to the new website? Rosie, do you know the address? So magimix.com.au. Yes. So Gail's just said, isn't that the old one? But basically what you're saying is it's a new look website. Yes, it's a new look website, yes. Um, right, I'm looking for my pack. There it is. This is when you um, put your cap on and we'll go for four minutes at the same temperature. So you'll see that because of the flour, you'll... The, the mixture is going to thicken slightly. At first, um, when, I, when I tested the recipe, I did start cooking the fish in the bowl, but then I decided that it's, it's really not necessary because it is going to be in the oven for about half an hour, so, and the fish cooks really quickly, so I decided just, just to put it in there and then put it in, in the pirates. And don't forget to switch on your oven, 220 degrees um, conventional or 200 fan So Rosie, now it's getting a bit colder. What are some of your favourite dishes to cook during winter? Well, you know, I mean, so all we do in winter is curries and stews and soups. This is why this machine is fantastic in winter because it's just like, it's so, it, all the recipes are just adapt to this. So, like, it's a great, a great machine to have in winter, really, because of the, the way we eat it in winter, with the soups and the stews and curries, etc. And, yeah, and then, and then, of course, a lot of baking, you know. And so, as you know, you know, we've got this uh, new bakery book, this encourages you to bake with a food processor, which is something that I do myself a lot because it just cuts down my time and it does a fantastic job. Um, especially when you're doing things like pastries, um, where it, it, it just so fast, the ingredients come together, come together so fast that you know you get a beautiful pastry. The butter doesn't get hot. And so it's not Okay, Gail's asked what page is the recipe on? The recipe for this. Yes. Okay. Mm, no. uh, it's on the page that says Cook with Magic Mix. It's obviously online, um, but um, no, it's not in the recipe book. Okay. This and is my own recipe. And Sherry asked with a question mark middle oven. Don't know what she meant by that, Cherry? Does she mean in the centre of the oven? Maybe. Yes. So middle of the oven? Yeah, middle of the oven, yes. 
No, um, but the recipes, you'll find them on the Facebook site. I'm imagining it's Facebook site. Okay, Gail just asked, we're online, so just look in the recipes side of the website. scrape it down a little bit but it look, it's looking great and it's thickening it's absolutely gorgeous so continuing on we've got 51 seconds which is really so quick adding all the other ingredients and we virtually done the recipe. This is how quick it is and just half an hour in the oven to 40 minutes until you see that the pastry is lovely puffed and a lovely brown colour. but it goes really well with all kinds of fish and also it's really nice with salmon so now I'm just going to give this a stir and just add some thyme there just stir it for 30 seconds or so Sherry asks, is this chopping the fish? No, it's not going to chop the fish because I just, you know, I just, I'm not processing it. I'm just mixing it in. This is, uh, number three is a stirring speed. It's not a chopping speed. Um, did I forget something? Oh, yes. Here's the mustard. together now I'm just going to stir it again put the lid on and then we've got 16 seconds and that will be enough to stir it just to mix all the ingredients in for those who like a little bit of pepper or a little bit of uh, salt you just can add it at this point so there you go. Have a look at the mixture. A bit of pepper and salt. And that is looking amazing. So here's my dish. And of course you can make it in individual pie dishes as well. So I'm just going to pour um, not the whole thing in but most of it in here. Because I think that this dish could be a little bit small so I might make an individual one a little bit later there you go make sure that you fill the, the parex whatever you've chosen and the rest will go into a small one 
Now for the pastry. I have to cover with the pastry, so I just take the pastry off. And this is actually a light version of a puff pastry. I didn't think I wanted to use, uh, you know, like a butter puff pastry. I quite like this one. Got a bit of a hole in there, but it doesn't matter. So we'll just do, cover it up. And then I'll just cut up the surplus. You can either tuck it in if you like, or leave it hanging around the side for a little bit. Like that. And there. Just tuck it in. Just cut that off. There, it looks beautiful. Nicely covered for winter. And so what I like to do is a little pattern, just because I like to play a little bit. So I'll just put a little leaf on top, just like that. And I'll make little, little indents, just a leaf. And then another one. Of course you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do this at all. I like to decorate things. You get the idea. So I just put two little leaves there, just like that. Which puff pastry was it? It's puff pastry, but I chose the one that is like twenty-five percent less butter. Um, but of course, you can you, you know you can choose whatever you want. And so you make little incisions so that the steam can escape. And there we have it. Oh, no, forget the last step, which is, of course, with the egg wash. So you brush it with egg wash. Put it away. Your oven is ready, ready to go. And in half an hour, all you need is a lovely fresh salad and you've got a beautiful fish pie or chicken pie or, or whatever you prefer. So there it is, ready to go. So 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And this is one I prepared earlier. This is what it looks like. And that will feed a family of six very comfortably. So now, remember this? Yes. So what size blade did I use to cut my vegetables? What size blade was it? Okay. And that's it for today. So I'll see you next time. In the next two weeks, you're going to see Vanessa. And I'll be there live. One last question. Can you add mushrooms if you use chicken? Why not? Of course. Definitely. You can add and swap and change whatever vegetables you prefer. You can use leek. You can use mushrooms. Uh, leek and mushrooms go really well with, with chicken. Yes, of course. As long as you've got all the, you know, like the cream and the cheese and you do what I did with the flour, you could do whatever you want. So, see you next time.